All right, so I'm gonna try something a little different. Um, instead of talking about my watches and stuff, I'm gonna talk about uh, my bikes. And by that I mean bicycles. Um, I used to be a BMX when I was a kid. Now I'm a little older. Uh, I need something bigger than a 20 inch. So I went to 26, 29 being too big, 29, 27.5 being eh, but 26 would be the way it is. So let me show you what I got. All right, so this here is my 2021 Blocks Flyer. This is the uh, second generation. Um, did a lot of upgrades to it and so forth. Uh, I bought this bike brand new. It was still on the lift, um, uh, being put together. The plastics were still on the tires. Um, and I was there when it came down. So I pulled the plastics off the tires myself. I am the original owner. So take that. Yeah. Um, so this being the 2021, I had a 2020 as well, but that was stolen from me at the beach in broad daylight, which sucks. Um, but I've done a lot of upgrades to it. So let me walk you through it. So the first ones I did, um, the uh, SC chain tensioners and the 17-tooth uh, ride-out supply freewheel, the uh, Shattered Conspiracy V2 chain in white. I was going to do gold, but I decided on white. Uh, the 39-tooth, um, <clears throat> what is this, 39-tooth uh, alloy sprocket, if I remember correctly, instead of the steel. Uh, these cranks are from my white, from, our, from my other bike, my 2020 Blocks Flyer. Um, I actually just switched them when I did everything else. Uh, and these are the pedals as well from the other bike, but it's light blue and it matches the rest of the light blue on the bike and so forth. I do have the stock um, brake pads on it. For some reason, these just feel that much better uh, than the stock ones on the other bike. So thank God for that. Um, it changed the colorway um, from the, the black script that was on here for Blocks Flyer. Took it off. Um, changed it to blue. Now this is the, the Maniac Flyer. Uh, blue so it's a little more vivid blue instead of a light blue um which is fine i absolutely love it but there's no shadowing on it there's no you know outline or anything like that which kind of annoys me but it is what it is i don't really care um so i added a little more blue to the bike here and, and, and put the the 60 60 uh, one here uh just add a little more blue and then when i did my manchester city kit sticker kit on it i just threw a bunch of extra stickers on it to get some more stuff on it um uh, did the uh, the headset oh sorry not the headset my god uh the seat post clamp and then the gnarler headset um uh, i didn't want the, the chrome hardware so i stuck with the stock one um uh, i did want to do the uh the actual uh headset here and whatnot i did want to do these bearings uh to seal it instead of ball and cage which only one place apparently has it and he doesn't answer his emails or phone calls so epic bmx in california get on your shit and send me something would you so this is the last upgrade I did, which was I put the knee pad on. Because when I stand at the pedal and whatnot, I'm banging to my knees. Um, so these are something to rest on. Uh, under there is a couple other city stickers. So uh, these are the retro TNT bars. Uh, or sorry, TNT retro bars. Uh, seven and a half inch rise. I cut them down to 26. Um, these are metal bar ends along with the donuts here. Uh, these used to be uh, red stars, but well, I'm not communist. Two, I don't do red. So, uh, that's it. The, the bottom bracket here, I was going to upgrade, but I don't have to because it's already a sealed, uh, package. And the guy that put it together, I saw him, he was in there. Uh, when I get my bikes done, I like to get them. The factory does some stuff, obviously, but sometimes they overdo it or sometimes that guy's pissed off and didn't do it correctly. So I had it redone completely. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of re-grease on this bike. Needed to be done. So the pedals, the sprockets, everything got to re-grease. Uh, the green mess, as I call it. So that's this bike. And let me show you what this one replaced. Because I actually got it back. Alright, so this is my 2020 first generation Blox Flyer. Uh, I again bought this one brand new, right off the rack. It was actually on the rack for only two days when I got it. Um... I wanted something bigger for my 20 inch after when COVID hit, my wife and I were riding our bikes like crazy for exercise and something else to do. Um, and at that time I was overweight like crazy and I didn't need my chunky self riding up and down massive hills on a 20 inch BMX. I'm at 15. So that had to change. So uh, after some finagling and whatnot, I went back and sure enough, there was this. Um, so I changed the bars over uh, to pair of black black ops bars uh i thought they were told they were seven inch rise but actually they were eight and a quarter inch rise so it, it just made the bike look a little weird so uh 
I took the uh, standard V rubber tires off. They were gray when I got it. Um, took those off, put the hookworms on. There's actually a kid down the road, actually, from where I live, uh, that actually had this generation bike, and he put the hookworms on. And I was thinking the entire time they wouldn't fit, they're too fat, and it's not going to work. So I saw the video that he posted online, and sure enough, he and his friends were sitting there, put them together, wrote it, no problems. And I'm like, well, now that I know I can do it, I am going to bite the bullet and just get those done. So when I got that done, I had the, again, SE uh, chain tensioners, ride out supply 17 tooth three wheel, the V2 chain done, the 39 tooth alloy sprocket done. I did have the 33 on here for a little bit, but I didn't like it. It's nice for hills, but where we mainly go riding, there's no hills, and I prefer the extra speed on flat. Uh, level ground so i went back to 39 so the other one's just a wall art <laughs> uh these white pedals uh the other ones are plastic uh these are alloy uh believe it or not guys it's not the the pedal that's your issue it's the shoes you're wearing with the pedal that you're using plastic pedals traditionally like the stock ones that this bike had are just little tiny discs uh that raise up a little bit they're kind of, they're not jagged they don't dig into stuff but your shoes the sipes and the grooving on your shoes matter depending i use pumas um when i ride and the metal the plastic pegs my foot would just slide all over the place but with these it actually catches because it fits into the grooves so works out a treat so if you're still sliding change your shoes uh anyway so uh the, i used to have the uh, mountain bike uh, cool stop mountain bike pads so when the guy stole it right like he stole it was a thing uh, he totally destroyed those pads and then when i took it back in they said they didn't have the mountain bikes anymore and i totally forgot to order the damn things so I will, he said i can get you the bmx's if you like uh i actually have them in my drawer i didn't use them so if you want them i can give them to you and i was like cool i don't know what the difference is going to be and he's like there really shouldn't be any real difference to be honest with you but you know, it, it's their brake pads. Who the hell cares? So, lo and behold, uh, they work a charm. So, thank God for that. Um, I did recently change out a couple of the uh, the bearings and whatnot. So, this one has an Odyssey um, bottom bracket now. Um, I just had that done. So, it doesn't have the weird looking cups or anything like that, but it's completely sealed. Uh, now, I think before, there were also sealed bearings, but they were covered in sand because this bike literally was ridden in the sand on the beach so when i when i got the bike back i took the seat post out and sand just fell out of it so this bike was immersed in sand so it just took me a lot of cleaning to get this thing to kind of what you see now this bike has been ridden quite a ways since i, since I got it back um in March or march or february i don't really remember uh when i got it back uh, since then, I've put on maybe 500 miles on this bike, so it sees a lot of action. I choose between the two bikes. So that's the bottom bracket, um, and then I got the Eluder headset, and the guy did a real nice job of paying attention to the details, so he put the wing right in front there. Uh, I changed over the, the stem here, the neck. I changed it over uh, from the bike that came on, or from the stem that came on the, the white bike. The one that was on this one it was just a plain Jane, there's nothing there. So I said, well, at least, add, again, add more color, add more attention to detail. So I changed them over to this one. Perfect fit. No harm, no foul. Uh, and then these are the Sins. Uh, seven and a half inch rise. Cut them down to 28s. Uh, the same bar ends. Donuts are just reversed to the other ones. Uh, hookworms. Now uh, the colorway, that's another one. Uh, I put on the C stick, okay, as you can see here. And we'll... The guy that I had uh, that stole the bike, just I had the two stickers here, as you see, City City on both sides, and then the Manchester City emblem badge. All he did was take it off. All these other stickers you see here, I put on, and the wording there is white instead of black. I put that stuff on. So when I found it online, he still had everything else, including my pad. He had everything else still on the bike except for those three stickers. The pedals had an engraving on it from Amazon. So you can't get away from that, and everything else is the same. So I knew it was my bike, and I found it. Uh, he tried to post it before Christmas. I found it after Christmas. Went through a fiasco. Got it back. So I'm one of those lucky guys that got their bike back. Ain't that the shit? Well, go out and ride your bike, guys. Have fun. Thanks for watching.